From the Scrambler Urban Motar to the Street Fighter V2, Ducati has unveiled multiple new models over the last few months. So I was a bit shocked to see Ducati announce three more world premieres coming over the next few weeks. Today was the first launch and Ducati officially showcased the new XDFL Nera Edition. So in today's video, I'm going to share my impressions of the newest member of the DFL family and what makes it stand out from the rest. So Ducati and design house Patrona Frau came together to spice up the XDFL by adding a little more Italian luxury. So how did they do that? Well, Ducati came to the table with the XDFL, which is Ducati's sport cruiser. And while the words sport and cruiser are usually on different sides of the spectrum, Ducati has done a tremendous job with this motorcycle. The engine is the Testa Tretta TVT1262. That's the twin cylinder engine that delivers a maximum power output of about 152 horsepower at 9,500 RPM and a maximum torque of 90 2.9 pound feet at 5,000 RPM. Now, to help bring all that power to the pavement, Ducati has added a power launch system to the bike that kind of helps regulate the throttle thanks to the Bosch IMU. The bike's chassis has a low seat height and forward foot pegs like a traditional cruiser, but due to some great engineering and a wonderful wheel setup, there's a maximum lean angle of 40 degrees, something way beyond any Harley Davidson or Triumph cruiser can bring to the pavement. Now enough background on the XDFL, let's talk about the Nera edition. First thing you'll notice is there's a new black on black livery in which gloss and matte black portions alternate up the tank. And it's definitely a sporty paint scheme, that's for sure. And if you really wanted to stand out, Ducati even offers a black on black helmet that matches the livery. Now, to help distinguish the Nera edition from the others in the range, Ducati added a few additional details, like brake calipers and head covers painted in the famous Ducati red. And to lighten it up a bit, Ducati machined forged rims for the bike and sprayed them down in a gloss black. Now, obviously the most recognizable part of the new XDFL Nera is the special seat made of Pelafrau. It's a soft, natural leather saddled by hand, and the results of years of research. So who or what is Patrona Frau? Well, they are a 110 year old Italian furniture maker who specializes in leather seating. They make very nice and expensive chairs and sofas, but they've also worked with car manufacturers like Ferrari, Bugatti, Maserati, and even Moto Guzzi in the past. Now for this bike, they came to the table with a beautiful seat, right? It's available in five different colors, Siam Red, Steel Blue, Cemento, India, and Selva. And it's customized with a series of X's engraved through a very sophisticated laser process, which we call the name of the bike. And if you're going to be riding two up, Ducati also will sell you a backrest made with matching leather. Now, while I'm a sucker for green leather, green couches, basically green's my favorite color, I'd say the best option here is this red or the Rosso Siam for my Italian speaking friends. Now, 500 examples of the XDFL Nero are going to be produced, with each owner receiving a custom keyring and document holder made of the Pelafrau leather. The price is going to be $29,795 in the US, so it's going to be the most expensive XDFL currently in the lineup. And if you're interested, you should call your dealer immediately because I'm sure the 500 global units are going to go quickly if they already haven't gone. Now. What are my thoughts on the motorcycle? Well, it's nothing crazy, right? It's a new paint job and a nice partnership that deepens the Italian heritage of Ducati. The XDFL is coming to the end of its life before an updated model comes out. So anything Ducati can do to squeeze out a few hundred more bikes before people aren't interested makes a great business case for them. Now, would I buy it? Meh. I'm not really the target market for this bike, and do I love nice leather? Absolutely. Would I spend an extra $5,000 to get this over an XDFL S? Probably not. You could probably get very similar leather at a local craftsman that you could get there. But you don't get the name, you don't get the badging, but if you're just looking for nice leather, there are other cheaper alternatives to it. Now that being said, that's all I've got for you today. And while this was a short video, I appreciate you watching. 
If you've made it this far, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. I know it's cliche for me to ask, but you've got no idea what it means to me and my channel if you stick around. All right, all. Thanks for watching. Now go out there and ride safe.